Hello friends. So today we'll be talking about the role of vitamin A in vision. So vitamin A has several roles, but one of the role, one of the major role, is that it enhances vision. Now, the retina is the innermost layer of the eye that is sensitive to light. So when light falls on retina, the retina converts this light into electrical impulses or electrical signals which are sent to the brain through the optic nerve. And when that is done, vision becomes enhanced. But then how does it do that? In the retina, there are photoreceptor cells. Two photoreceptor cells, the cones and the rods. So these are the rods in blue and the cones in red. Now, these rods and cones contain pigmented protein. For the rods, they contain rhodopsin, which is also called the visual purple because it is purple in color. Also, the cones contain a pigmented protein called the iodopsin, which is violet in color. However, these various pigmented protein individually contains protein and vitamin A aldehyde. It contains protein and vitamin A aldehyde. But the difference between the two is a type of protein that is contained. So the type, basically for both of them, the protein is called the hopsin. The protein is called the opsin. For both the rhodopsin and the hyodopsin, the protein there is opsin. And then the vitamin A aldehyde is 11 cis retinal. In my last class, I stated that vitamin A aldehyde, retinal is a vitamin A aldehyde. So it's plain out there. Now, for rhodopsin, the type of opsin that is present in rhodopsin is called for rhodopsin, the type of opsin, I said that for both the rhodopsin and iodopsin, they have a protein called opsin and then vitamin A aldehyde called 11 cis retinal. But the difference is lies in the type of opsin or in the type of protein. So the type of protein present in rhodopsin is called scotopsin, while the type of protein present in iodopsin is called photopsin. So the similarity is this, both pigmented protein contains a protein and vitamin A aldehyde. So generally the protein is called the opsin and the vitamin A aldehyde is called 11 cis retinal. But the difference lies in the type of the opsin, that's the type of the protein. So for rhodopsin, the type of protein it contains is called the scotopsin why iodopsin contains photopsin. Now, the scotopsin enhances vision during the day, sorry, during the night. So at, in dim light, basically. So scotopsin enhances vision in dim light. While photopsin enhances vision under daylight or bright light. That is to say, photopsin enhances vision during the day in daylight. Also in the night. It can enhance vision as long as there is bright light. And because of that, 
colors can be differentiated colors can be differentiated different colors can be differentiated whereas scutopsin with the help of rhodopsin can only enhance vision in dim light in dim light that is when scutopsin can enhance vision and because it can enhance vision only in dim light it can only differentiate between black and white without color differentiation so based on this explanation we can say that there are basically two visual systems the first one is the scotopic visual system of of course which uses root of sin and then we have the photops the photopic visual system photopic visual system so from my previous explanation the scotopic visual system uses road of same and because it uses road of same Vision can only be enhanced in dim light or under dim light conditions while the photopic visual system makes use of iodopsin and because it makes use of iodopsin it, is, it enhances vision during the day or under bright light in the night under bright light however, now these two systems are independent of each other however sometimes there could be an interplay there could be an overlapping so under some um, low light conditions both the sc uh, scotopic visual system and the photopic visual system can overlap and that can lead to mesopic visual system now for the purpose of this lecture we are going to focus on the road of sin because several um, studies have been done on road of sin and so we are going to our focus will be on road of sin that is how vision can be enhanced under dim light our ability to see under dim light can be explained using the road of sin circle also called the world's visual circle it is called the world's visual circle because it was discovered by a scientist named george Ward. now i stated earlier that road of sin is a pigmented protein that is present in the rods and the rod is a photoreceptor in the retina so and i said earlier also that it contains the scotopsin and a level c's retinal now after being exposed to dim light let's say under a, a dark condition a dim light comes up immediately that dim light comes up it will eat the road of sin on striking the road of sin, the road of sin will dissociate immediately to form the scot of sin and 11 cis retinal. Now, this 11 cis retinal, like I said earlier, is the vitamin A RDI. So, this is where vitamin A comes in. And this 11 cis retinal is a chromophore. So, it is actually what gives the road of sin the pigment. So, immediately the dissociation occurs, 
11 cis retinal undergoes bleaching. Now, bleaching is a process of being excited as a result of absorbing the light. The 11 cis retinal becomes excited and then it rapidly undergoes a process of isomerization to form photorhodopsin, batorhodopsin, luminorhodopsin, metarhodopsin 1, 2, and 3, and then finally, all transretinal. Now, this all transretinal is inactive. Ordinarily, we would ask, okay, all transretinal should be able to maintain vision, but it is inactive and so it cannot maintain vision. For vision to be maintained, there must be the presence of 11 cis retinal in the photoreceptor. However, the 11 cis retinal that was produced from rhodopsin, from the splitting of rhodopsin, rapidly under went this um, process of bleaching. And this process of bleaching is rapid, it's very rapid. It's like in milliseconds or in nanoseconds. So it's very fast. So for there to be vision under dim light, if there, there was a dark condition and then dim light comes up, for vision to be maintained, there must be the presence of 11 cis retinal in the photoreceptor. And since 11 cis retinal has undergone this bleaching to form this, it means more 11 cis retinal will be needed in the photoreceptor. So now, this old bleaching process occurs in the photoreceptor. So when all transretinal is formed, like I said, this is inactive. This all transretinal will, will now from the photoreceptor move into the ret retinal epithelium. In the retinal epithelium, it will undergo a process of isomerization catalyzed by retinal isomerase to form all cis retinal. Now, this all cis retinal from the retinal epithelium can now go back into the photoreceptor to form 11 cis retinal. However, not all the all transretinal in the retinal, retinal epithelium were converted to all cis retinal. Some of them escaped into the bloodstream and then from the blood they were carried to the liver. Now in the liver, they, they become converted into all transretinol. And then all transretinol in the liver also undergo a process of isomerization to form all cis retinol. And then this all cis retinol go, goes back into the blood to form all cis retinol which then goes back through the ret retinal epithelium into the photoreceptor. Now, this 11 cis retinal in the photoreceptor is active. So as long as there is 11 cis retinal in the photoreceptor, vision will always be maintained under that dim light. Under the dim light, vision will be maintained as long as 11 cis retinal is present in the photoreceptor. Now, this coat of sin is is bound to a G, a couple, is coupled to G protein receptor, which I'm going to discuss in my next class. So this cotopsin is coupled to a G protein receptor, and this cotopsin cannot be active except 11 cis retinal is present. However, it's present in the photoreceptor does not mean it will bind to scotopsin. It is not binding to scotopsin as long as there is dim light. It is not binding to scotopsin. It will remain in the photoreceptor and its presence in the photoreceptor will continuously activate scotopsin, which is coupled to a G protein receptor. And then vision will be enhanced. However, once the dim light is taken off and then there is a dark condition, 11 cis retina will rapidly combine with scotopsin to form rhodopsin. So I'm going to take it again. For, for vision under dim light to be maintained, there has to be the presence of 11 cis retinal in the photoreceptor. I stated earlier that rhodopsin is a pigmented protein present in the rod, and the rod is a, is a type of photoreceptor present in the retina. So, under dim light, and I said that it functions under dim light, so it enhances vision under dim light. So, in the presence of dim light, let's assume there is, there is a dark condition and then all of a sudden there is a dim light. 
Immediately that dim light comes up, rhodopsin will dissociate rapidly to form scotopsin and 11 cis retinal. Now, this 11 cis retinal ordinarily should be needed. It should be needed to activate the scotopsin, but it rapidly undergoes a process of bleaching, which I said is a process of excitation and fast isomerization, where it isomerizes to form all trans retinal. This all trans retinal is inactive in the photoreceptor. So, this all trans retinal from the photoreceptor will now move into the retinal epithelium. Okay? In the retinal epithelium, it will undergo a process of isomerization to form all cis retinal. The all cis retinal will now move back into the photoreceptor and be converted to 11 cis retinal, which is active. However, not all. Not every all um, trans retinal that was produced that was converted, some of the all trans retinal that was produced escaped into the bloodstream and from the blood they are carried into the liver. In the liver, they were converted to all trans retinol. Now, this all trans retinol in the liver also undergoes a process of isomerization to form all cis retinol in the liver. Now, all cis retinol will be now enter into the bloodstream, become converted to 11 cis retinal and then from the bloodstream it will now move straight through the ret retinal epithelium into the photoreceptor and I stated that as long as and I said that this is the this is active so as long as this 11 cis retinal is present in the photoreceptor the vision will be enhanced in the presence of the dim light because it will activate this scotopsin. Its presence will activate scotopsin. And scotopsin is coupled to a G protein receptor, which I am going to talk about in my next class, because that will be phototransduction. But immediately that dim light is taken off, 11 cis retinal will rapidly combine with scotopsin to form rhodopsin. Thank you.